and seeing so far so good. Except in that now it's out of service for some reason. I really hope this is not the beginning of a mod. There's really only one way to find out. We're gonna go upstairs. Hmm. Here's the second floor, which I don't think I've ever shown it on camera. That button was... We are no-go here. But that button's been replaced. But there's some... Nope, there's no connection to the elevator there. Check up on three. I don't see any reason for, I don't see any cause for concern yet. But that's unfortunate that it's not running today. This is the elevator of the communications building, Iowa State. I completely missed this. Like every time I've come here. Look, I don't think I'm going to ride because this goes up to a restricted area. But this is an amazing elevator. Stay at ease 1224. But I'm not going to ride this first. That's why. So, cool this elevator exists, but I do not feel comfortable riding it, knowing it goes up to a restricted area. So, I might as well just end this video. Here we are back at Coover Hall on the Iowa State campus. Now, I checked up on this elevator in, I don't remember what month, but it was sometime at the end of last year, and it was broken with no signs of modernization. I think I might have hinted at it already, but it's still broken. I don't know what to think of that. Let's head upstairs and take a look. See if there's doing anything with it. Here's floor two. Oh, I don't remember if I showed this button was replaced or not. But Still broken. I don't think I've even shown the elevator on this floor. There is nothing anywhere to suggest this elevator is getting modernized. 
but it's been broken for, I don't know how many months now? Either two or three. But the real verdict is up on three. Because this is a traction elevator. About halfway up, there's two. Here's three. And already I can see no sign whatsoever of a mod. You know what? This is one that it pains me to admit. But I think this elevator has been decommissioned. It pains me to say that, but it's, un it's unfortunate. And it doesn't surprise me either, since there is a code compliant elevator on the other side of the building. Well, that's a shame. I guess it was only a matter of time. Here's this corresponding stairway. And I guess we'll just finish taking the stairs. <sighs> that was fun, but I'm gonna miss it. This is the freight elevator at the Biomechanics Research Building, Iowa State. Okay, it's working. It's just that the buttons light up. And here it is. Close the door. Okay. Okay, why is it not closing? Okay, uh, this is messed up. Door won't close for some reason. Montgomery. There's a the phone. Um, oh dear. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't trust it. Oh sure, now it decides to work. Um, great. Now I think it's trapped down there because I can't get down there to close it. Let me try this door closed and see if that works. I'm going to try calling it. Oh dear. Well now I've got a dilemma. I'm going to have to go find a stairway and get down there and sort this out. So I'm going to cut the camera off and try to get this mess cleaned up.
of the administration building, Northwest Missouri State. Montgomery elevator. Let's get out into the basement. Um, what? Okay, um, we're going somewhere. for it to time itself out. Donald Student Center, University of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You go ahead. Fail. Well, with those being over there being modernized, Chris too. I don't know how long it will be before these get modernized. So let's get one last ride. Take this one first. Shaft lights are on. Six is locked. Five works. Here we go. Northeast Elevator, All Wine Hall, University of Nebraska and Omaha. Let's go down to LL. Um, okay, um, it looks like they've keyed it off. Well, that stinks. Well, let's get a cab view at least. Which is really nothing's changed here. We got a working bumper. This is the elevator at the Hearn Center, Missouri State, and 
What is this? Push button to call for elevator. Ask for elevator when phone is answered. I don't think so. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go up a floor and investigate. I think I know what the deal is though. Okay, so that was down on floor one. Here we are up a couple of floors on three. And it's still not accessible. Turn out the stairway behind it is exactly what I thought, emergency exit only. So this elevator is unrideable. At Hearn Center. This is the elevator plugs late on South Dakota State. University, Brookings, South Dakota. Down to basement. Just left me. We're here at Olin Hall, Drake University. And I have not seen this elevator since 2017, so let's see if it's still original. So far, so good. Let's take a ride. This is the machine room right here. Or I can hear the motors inside there. I don't. So far, so good. We are still original. Let's take a ride. And we'll only take one ride. We're in the basement of Chris 2. Creighton University. And these elevators got modernized. It got repainted. This is the West Elevator, L-E-E-P-2. Whatever that stands for. Hall. University of Kansas. KU. I don't think I made a video of this. No, I'm certain I didn't. And I'm not sure which one is gonna... If they line up or not, we'll find out. They do not. And there's like nothing here. That is the rear door. You can hear it closing behind me. Okay, ground south is the bottom. Now I noticed this key switch, so we might... Yep, three's locked. But we can go to two. Got in on one S. Uh oh, since we're going up. Well, 
of all the mods on campus, this was the least likely that I would expect would get modernized. Okay then. Okay, it's here. Okay. I think that's the first time I've ever seen an RT get modernized. There's a library. No, oh, I'm a little worried. Okay, battery died. What floor? One, two, two. What are these photographs? The elevator. Hobby, mostly. Are you allowed to take that? Yes. There you go. Should I? So what? Are you a creating? Was. What? Okay, let's go to the public safety. Something of concern? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 